Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna to be doing a very natural, everyday, cool tone Pinterest kind of doyen makeup. I think this is gonna be perfect for like school or work. Right now I'm wearing these contact lenses from Olens. I'm using a blurring primer. I probably use this every day all the time but I love how like it gives the blurred skin effect and I'm going for like the like smooth baby skin matte kind of look today so this is a good primer that I use. You can also use like any other blurring primers. I feel like they're all pretty much the same. For foundation, I'm using the usual, these two. Usually I do a one-to-one -one ratio, but these days I've been doing like two to one ratio just because this one is a bit less matte and it's winter, it's cold. So my skin gets really dry and I'd rather touch up with powder than having my skin flaky. So I just mix it on the back of my hand. My skin has been really bad lately. I think it's because every time I work I wear a mask every time I wear a mask I start getting like pimples on the side of my cheeks I'm also thinking about cutting my bangs at the end of the video because I feel like it's gonna look good with this makeup my bangs are kind of long now I used to have it last year but they grew out and I wasn't thinking about cutting them again but I'm just gonna cut a little bit so that it's easy to hide and then i'm gonna go with this concealer from the same i like this concealer because it's not too thick it doesn't make my base cakey and i feel like a lot of concealers kind of cake up the makeup a lot this concealer it's not like super high coverage but it really does the job it gives a natural coverage and then my favorite, favorite, favorite powder, the Huda Beauty one. If you guys haven't tried it, 100% recommend my powder since 2018 or like 2019. Been using it for a long time, never switched to another powder because everything else makes my skin super dry, but this, it makes my skin like super like blurry, but never dry. I'm gonna go with this contour powder for nose shading. I'm gonna use this color because it's grayish brown. So all of the Doyen makeup that I saw, the brows are very like not drawn on. They're literally like, you know when they draw like streaks? It's really hard to explain, but let me put up a picture right here of what I'm talking about. I'm trying to get that look, so I'm gonna use a very thin eyebrow pencil. I don't think I can get that look because my brows are just not built like that, but I'm gonna try to like kind of draw little streaks and fill in empty spots rather than like drawing a whole eyebrow, if you get what I mean. The palette I'll be using today is this one from Wake Make. I might have used this palette in my last video, but I don't think I used a lot of colors on it. It's a very muted matte palette, very soft. I'm gonna use this one. This one's like a very light lavender shade. I think it does kind of leave like a white cast. It's okay, it still does give some color. I'm gonna do the same on the lower lash line. I'm gonna take this one, which is like a darker lavender shade, apply that on the eyelids. I'm gonna take this dark, darker brown color. It's the darkest one in the palette, but when you put it on the eyes, it's not even that dark. But I'm just applying that on the lids and kind of like deepening the eyes just a little bit. I'm going to add a bit more color to the bottom by adding this. Kind of darken it up a little. I'm going to add a shimmer shade. A 
I'm taking the MAC Queen New York Gel Eyeliner. I'm making the line a little bit thicker than usual. Usually I would use liquid liner, but I'm not going for a liquid liner look today. And then I'm gonna take a super dark brown eyeshadow. This is from a palette. And I'm taking that with a small brush and drawing like a little eyeliner with this. The reason why I'm using eyeshadow is because I want it to be like a smudged look. Then I'm gonna curl my lashes. And then I'm taking the Cleo Kill Lash Mascara. What I'm gonna do is just apply the mascara everywhere and kind of clump it up. And then with a tweezer, I'm gonna separate them into little sections. like that and this is optional i don't think most people would have time for this but i do want to add individual lashes usually i would use the 12 11 10 milliliters but it's gonna be a very natural look so i'm gonna use the nine milliliters which is the second row I got these from Yes Style. I got a lot of questions on which glue I use and I used this one from Duo. I like how the color is black and so it blends with the lashes and it's very sticky actually so it sticks on really well. So I just dip the ends in the glue and place it underneath the lash. Okay, now it's time for the blush. I'm using the Etude House Lovely Cookie Blusher in Lavender Chiffon Cake. It's purple, but when you put it on, it's like pinkish purple, so it's not as like purple as it looks. I usually like applying it on the center of my cheeks, so that's where it's going. I feel like they usually apply it on the nose area too, so I'll do that. Before we add finishing touches, I wanted to do the lips first just to see how it looks. I've been really loving this one. This one's like matte and I usually don't go for matte, but this one is such a pretty color. I think this line in general, like the formula is so nice because it's super matte and like blurry and I love the like blurred effect that it gives. I don't think I can live without glitter, guys. So I'm gonna add a little bit. I love, love this palette. It's like full of glitter. I'm gonna use this shade, which is called Purple Fantasy. I'm gonna add that to the lower lash line. Instead of like using highlighter, I'm gonna use the highlighter shade from this palette. I'm gonna add that to the corner, inner corner of my eyes the bridge and tip of my nose and that is it for the soft girl makeup i don't even know if this is like supposed to be soft girl but i really like the lip color that's why i wanted to do this whole look i'm gonna do my hair and cut my bangs i'm excited because i haven't had bangs in so long i'm excited to see how it looks I think I'm only gonna cut this much, which is kind of a lot, but 